Hey everyone! So this video is going to be my Instax mini film collection. I have used a lot of the different um, like patterned or coloured films that you can get and I thought I would just show some of them in case you're interested in buying any of them or you just wanted to see what they look like. I have a lot of them scanned as sets so I'll probably insert those here somewhere and I, if not, I will just insert a single photo um, so that I don't have to remove them all from their albums. If you see me looking down, I have a list of them all written out and I just thought this might be interesting for people who are considering buying some or were thinking about ones that had been discontinued and were just wondering what they looked like. So I also have some film beside me here that is film that I haven't used yet, which is actually expired. I didn't use it in time, but I'm still going to be using it. But that would be film that you would definitely be able to buy now. And I'll probably update you on that once I use it. So the first film I ever used, like the colour film I used, was Pandora, which is, if you know it, I definitely have lots of um, copies of it scanned. And it's um, white with like a little black, almost like a doodle design. That is a film that I would highly suggest. It's simple, but it's really nice for just adding that little bit extra. If your photos are like not super artistic or something, they're just for fun. That's what most of these films are for. They're more for parties or just to hang out with your friends, things like that, as opposed to trying to like take more creative photographs because a lot of them are kind of cheesy. So Pandora is one of the less cheesy ones and I'd really suggest it. It's really cute. I'm not sure if it's still available, but hopefully it is. I'll have the website linked down below, um, which is Passion Gadgets, which is where I've gotten all of my pattern films, to be honest. So they have really good prices as well. So I'll make sure to have that link down below if you want to see if you can find any of these. So then the next film I used, um, these are in no particular order other than the order in which I used them. I just went through all my albums and wrote down all the different films. So I might not have the name correct as I say it, but I'll have it written in somewhere um, or linked down below. So the second one I used was the shiny Hello Kitty, which I used for a dance competition, which was super cute. But again, wouldn't really recommend all of the super colored borders with different characters. They're just not my favorite, but the shiny Hello Kitty is cute. I don't think it's still available but it was good for the event. It was kind of, the backgrounds were kind of dark and things like that, uh, where we were, it was just in a hotel conference um, area. So it worked pretty well and, you know, kind of pulled from people's costumes and everything. So it's good, but not a huge recommendation. Another one, which is one of my favorites, and I've taken some really, like a couple of photos, I think that I really liked from what I remember in the spring film, I believe it's just called Spring. Um, again, sadly, I think it's discontinued. I'm sure you could find some of these on Amazon or eBay if you were really keen, if it really suited a theme that you were looking for. But the spring had like little tiny cartoon characters, but again, it was a white base of a border, which I really prefer. And it's really cute. I took some really nice photos with it. As well as that, the comic book. I used that just at my friend's house one afternoon. And the colors in comic book really pull from the right like tones of instant film, especially if you take them take them outdoors. I'll make sure to insert that. I feel like I might have that like in a long format, so maybe it'll be kind of weird, but it's um, really, really cute. I love the comic book one. Not sure if it's still available, but sadly kind of with all of these, I just thought it'd be fun to show them, but um, if comic book is still available, I would highly suggest it. It's just one of my favorites. Another one of my favorites, which I actually have a box of here, is Shiny Star, and that's what the, sorry, it's a bit too bright in here. That's what the packaging looks like. And it's shiny film um, with little star pattern and they're all like different set pastel colors. Definitely one I would suggest. I'll probably insert some here. I think I've used it twice before and I got another box of it because it's just one of my favorites. It really goes well with like dance shows for me. That's what I would kind of use them for or just a party. They're generally for more things like that. You wouldn't it wouldn't really go with colours from an outdoor type of photo, but really cute still, really like them. So the next three are ones I did like, but like wouldn't highly suggest. The first one is the Little Twin Stars, and it was like a pink and green theme. I used it going um, with my friends to the, to the capital, to Dublin, uh, for Christmas shopping. It was cute, um, nothing special really. I guess if you really like those kind of cartoons, um, 
then you'd prefer it but that as well as the Christmas film wouldn't really suggest like it's nice the red border is nice for taking like Chris more making your photos look more Christmassy but it's just not very pretty um, it's just a little bit ugly I wouldn't highly suggest it um, again not sure if it's still available and then I believe the Kath Kitson films are still available I used the green one it was good for what I used it for I used it when I was taking photographs at a craft fair that I was selling um, hair bows I used to have a craft business with one of my friends and it really pulled from that because all the fabric hair bows and the cutesy and whatever but not a big fan like it's really strong colour like it's really good quality uh, border you know you it's noticeable but at the same time just not a favourite another film that I'm pretty sure is discontinued I don't think I've seen it in a while um, but I'm sure it might be available on eBay or something is I don't know exactly what it's called but it's like tile it's like a pastel kind of tiled print that is like a gradient rainbow um, as you go through the film similar to the block rainbow colours um, which I'll get to in a second. So again, I don't know if the tiled film is still available. Also not entirely sure what it's called, but it's really, really nice. One of my favorites. It is kind of hard to like match up what photo is gonna be what color, because it's nice to kind of pull from a particular color. But hopefully by seeing some of them in order, if you want to, which I actually did. I looked up the color in which they came out to like match up colors. Um, you could do that. That's the same with the rainbow film. That's actually the one that I looked up to like match up colors. I use that for a dance summer intensive and it, I just loved how the photos turned out. It was just that right amount of fun, like adding that little pop extra. You know, the white film would have been fine, but any other, like some of the borders are too busy is what I'm talking about. Like the block colors or the tile or Pandora, those kind of ones are nice and basic. So they just seem to go better because there's enough going on in the photograph. So you're just trying to draw attention to the photograph itself. So Rainbow is definitely still available. Um, it's a good one, like it's a good one to just try out for the fun of it. Um, you know, especially if there's a lot of colors around what you're taking photos of, it helps to like pull from those colors. So another one of, which is actually a very busy film, um, is the Rida Kuma, hope I'm saying it right, Honey version. So it's got some gold, um, kind of foil detail on it and like stripes and it's kind of busy I'm pretty sure I have this scanned as a whole set but I don't think the photos turned out fine and I'm pretty sure I'm sitting in a bathtub outside for one of them but um, I really like that film I just thought it was so cute it was really nice for autumn um, it just the gold just really pulled from all the things around um, my house at autumn time so I would actually suggest that one again not sure if it's available a lot of these ones are maybe not available anymore but there are a lot of other similar options especially with like Hello Kitty films like I have another Hello Kitty film which I just have Hello Kitty regular but then I also have another Hello Kitty film here I'm not sure if this one is like a travel theme it seems like houses and there's also candy canes I'm not really sure what this theme is but I'm using I'm just finished sorry there's a bit of a glare there I'm just finished using Hello Kitty film at the moment and it wasn't my favorite it kind of stopped me from using my Instax I haven't been using it very much recently either which is why I have some um, expired film but I'm hoping to get more into using it again in the summer and I'll probably be making more videos um, about Instax and if you have any questions make sure to leave them below I'll be happy to help I'll also have my Instax um, Tumblr link down below where you can ask questions there if you want or see a lot of the photos I've taken. Uh, some of them, I just kind of uploaded all of them. There's some really good ones that I got in New York. I love those ones, but then there's a lot of not so great ones, but check it out anyways. Again with the busy films, I got one of the Sanrio, I think that's how you'd say it, kind of cartoony ones. Wouldn't suggest it, just didn't add anything to my photos just kind of took away from it more so maybe if they were like brighter lighter photos but what I remember they're all very dark so it just looked like it was the film was just itself drawing too much attention so I wouldn't really suggest that kind there's also a film Dalmatian I'd say that and the polka dot film as well um which I'll put them both in here they're good I prefer the Dalmatian to the polka dot for some reason you know the polka dot's fine if it suits you and suits your personality go for it but 
I prefer the Dalmatian surprisingly. It's maybe similar to the Pandora in the way it's just black and white. I kind of prefer that. Um, but the they're both really good, like still with the white base is definitely what I would suggest when looking at those like colourful films. Um, but yeah, I'd say the Dalmatian over the polka dot any day. So now getting to the films that I'm yet to use, um, I'll maybe do an update video and show you these if um, anyone is interested in seeing what they look like once they've been used because I'll probably be using them within the next like two weeks hopefully. Um, I just want to take a whole lot of photos so I can get a new batch of film because these all went, the, yeah, that went off in 2015, that went off last month and so did this. So, you know, I, I'll try. So the first one is The Stripe. I have to bring these really close hopefully. It's oddly sunny in Ireland at the moment, like it's really hot, I'm roasting in my room. We have like a, an aga, it's like a big heater thing and it's right under in our kitchen and it's right underneath my room and I'm like roasting. I even have like, my dad had to put up a neck curtain in my room, I just, I can't open my windows because uh, I live like right beside a bunch of trees and they're really close to the window and we get like really huge nasty bugs. So problems. <laughs> anyway, so back to the film. Um, this is the Stripe film and it's like pastel stripe. It looks really cute. Um, again, expired, but really I haven't had any problems with expired film in the past. Um, it's never been an issue, like it doesn't look any different to me. So maybe if someone's selling expired film really cheap on eBay, give that a go because I probably would. I've used film that was like a year out of date and there was no difference. So maybe give that a try if you're looking to get some film on the cheap. Uh, Passion Gadget is really good for doing deals on film, sometimes it goes on sale. Just generally it's the best prices I've found, so make sure to check them out. They are based in Singapore, so I think they ship to like Australia and generally in Asia. I don't think they would ship to Europe or the US, but you can try. But I, just, like, I go to Singapore pretty often. My dad works there like a couple days out of a month, so I'll just get them have free shipped to his office and he'll bring them back for me so this is I think it's it was called Shanghai Girl from what I can remember it's like I don't know it doesn't have a name it's just like yeah it's just in Chinese down there but it looks really pretty when I saw the set of it online it looked really pretty it's blue and white I think it'd be nice for the summer it's my name written on the back I oh my god I got this like two years ago Oh, yeah, but I got this at the same time. I went to Singapore and I bought like so much film. And um, I think I probably bought about 30 in total, 30 packs in total, uh, for my friend's wide, another friend's mini. And for me, I bought like a, a lot of film. That was when I bought my mini 90 as well, which if you're like new to Instax, I'll have that video linked down below or in the little information thing on that side, whichever side it is, and um, you can check that out. It just has some tips for using, I have the Instax Mini 90, which is slightly more advanced than the 8, or I have the 7S as well. And I know they have a new one now. I can't remember what it's called, but. Anyways, that's the Shanghai Girl film. That's what it was listed as on Passion Gadgets, anyways. And then the last one I was so excited to use, and I don't know why I haven't used it yet. I kind of want to use it when I'm traveling. Um, but it is the airmail collection. So it's got like, I have to bring this really close, sorry. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. No. So, there you go. It's got, you can see on the, like, the side of the pack and everything, it's got that little like um, blue and red stripe and it's on like a, a white background, but it kind of looks like paper. It's got like a, textured look to it, like a textured print. So hopefully this video wasn't too long. I just thought it would be fun to make, um, interesting for some people. Maybe not everyone is interested in this, uh, not Instax or even colorful film, but I thought it would be nice to make for those who would like to see some. And if you want any more Instax related videos, make sure to leave a comment down below or subscribe. Bye.